Hi everyone, today I want to show you my July favorites. I, this, you know, I just love the summertime, but this July has been one for the record books. It seems like it's just been forever. I'm so glad it's over. I'm looking forward to August. It's onward and upward, happier times. Um, one of the things that I want to show you, and I want to say thank you to Carol, who is a subscriber of mine. She sent me this little card, and it was a thank you card. She won my giveaway that I had here just a couple of weeks ago. And she left a note on the bottom of the card saying that she was sending a small package my way. And when I got home yesterday, there was a big box from Cincy. And I have never tried the Cincy products. So thank you so much, Carol. I really appreciate it. She sent one of those plug-in night lights, which that's another thing. I have it in the hallway between my kitchen and my, and my bedroom, like the kitchen, bedroom, bathroom area. And I never realized how handy a night light would be there. So I really appreciate the nightlight part along with the Scentsy part. She sent these three um, flavors. This one is sugar cookies and it smells like sugar cookies baking. This one is called Luna and it's just a real fresh clean smell at the same as Ocean. I have this one in there now. So thank you so much, Carol. I really appreciate it. You didn't have to do that. I think I came out on the better end of that deal. Um, I wanted to show you, I got these uh, Salon Effects nail wraps for $1. And they're in this uh, kind of a gingham check pattern. And I do have a, a big picnic in August that I go to every year. So I thought those might be kind of fun for the picnic. Maybe, maybe not. You know, these are supposed to last 10 days, but we all know on me they won't last 10 days because I will get bored with them. Um, the other thing I've been loving is my little purse that Nikki sent me. It's the, uh, with the flag from Great Britain on it. I just love it. I just wish I had more of those because everybody who sees it is like, I want one of those. It is. I've had a lot of fun with it. Um, I had to buy a new one of these, the Neutrogena Age Shield Face SPF 70. This is what I put on my face every morning. When I get up, first thing every morning, I wash my face, I brush my teeth, I put this on. I put it on here, back of my hands, everything. And then I have my coffee, like that's the first thing I do. And a lot of people think that if they use sunscreen, they're not going to tan. And I mean, I'm tan. I have tan lines. My car has a sunroof, so, and I wear a lot of those uh, tank tops, you know, the, you know, with the little thin straps. So, you do tan. Sunscreen does not keep you from tanning. Sunscreen keeps you from getting the bad rays that can get into your skin cells and cause skin cancer. So, I think I'm living proof that you do tan even when you wear sunscreen. And I never used to tan. It wasn't until the onset of menopause that I tan. By the end of the summer, I will be very dark, even with my 70 sunscreen. Um, I wanted to show you this I picked up. This is from Mark Jacobs, Lola. It's a little ring, and it's a solid perfume. I don't know that the perfume really... I don't know that it has a smell. Maybe it needs to warm up. But I just love this little packaging. I thought it was adorable. And if my finger was smaller, I would wear it as a ring. Most definitely. I think it's adorable. The only thing I don't get, this little gold chain came with it. Like a little bead chain. If anybody knows what the purpose of that is for, 
would you please let me know? I don't think it's meant to be worn as a bracelet, but maybe, I don't know. Let me know what that chain is for, please. Um, I've real oh, and look, it, it came in this little pouch, and the little pull strings are those little flowers. See, little things like that, I just think, are adorable. Um, the one perfume that I've been wearing and I've worn, I emptied it out. It's completely empty, it's especially Escada. I enjoy the perfume review channels, especially Coco. Coco has a channel where she just reviews perfume. I wish she posted more videos on there. She has such a way with words that she just takes you right to the moment. Um, it, I mean, it's like it's almost like you can smell the perfume just from her words. She doesn't talk a lot about notes, you know, and the top note and dry down and that. She talks more of like, is it a happy perfume? Is it a somber perfume? Is it for an older person, a younger person? You know, is it one that you would wear to a wedding or should you wear it to a funeral? Or I mean, she just covers all the bases that way. And one of the things that she said um, about a Scotta perfume was that it was a happy perfume. And I don't know if it was especially a Scotta that she was talking about. It might have been a different Escada. But, you know, this month has just been a, it's been a sad month for me. My friend passed away on July 5th, um, and in, I think it was the end of March, the doctors had told her that she would not live to see the 4th of July, but she did. And right about that time, Coco had done that review about Escada being a happy perfume, and so I have been using this a lot. There's like a little tiny bit left in there. I'm going to see if I can get it out. No, it's gone. Anyway, so I like that. And I, Donna Shorts also, she does great reviews on perfume. I have a big, I've collected a lot of perfume samples, you know, as you do with your all the different subscriptions and the uh, from Sephora orders and whatnot. So I really have been enjoying listening to them and learning more about the different perfumes. Um, the other perfume I've been wearing is the Summer Grace. iPad down. <laughs> okay, we're back. Um, I, in fact, I think I've covered everything. Oh, one of the things I used up was just talking about perfume amazing grace hand soap and I have one of those metal caddies that holds the hand soap and then next to it is the lotion and of course I use the hand soap more because I wash my hands so much more I wash my hands a lot but I got this I thought this was cute because you know my uh, saying is keep calm and paint your nails. That's kind of my motto on my blog. I got this at TJ Maxx for $4.99. So I'm going to fill that up with this and use that. Um, for nail polish this month, this is infamous. It's a new color from Revlon. I'm naming this the polish of the month. I absolutely love it. The other one I love is from Orly. You can see how much I've used of it, and it's called Preamp. They have a new collection out. I think it's called Electronics or Electrotronics something. But I bought this. Lori had this on from LL42863, and I went to Sally the next day and I bought it and then a couple of days later I was in there and it was sold out. So any, I'm glad I got it. I really like that. The other one I've been wearing a lot is Catrice. It's called Sold Out Forever and I don't know if you can see 
It's kind of a pale green, but it's got a shimmer of pink. Kind of a pinky, peachy shimmer that goes through it. It's a very interesting polish. I love it. This one from Gosh is called Wild Lilac. I love this one. I've worn this one quite a bit. And Gray Suede from Revlon, I've worn a lot. I think this is a classic, timeless color. I don't think it will ever go out of style. And for my 12-year-old friend Elizabeth, Pimp My Shrimp is the other one that I have worn quite a bit. Um, Revlon has come out with some really pretty colors. And right now at Walgreens, it's buy one, get one free not get one half, which that's usually what their buy one, get one is. So I went yesterday to get this green one. It's called Guest List. And then I saw it was a buy one, get one free, so I picked this one up called VIP. There were $4.99, so it, these were $2.50 a piece. But then I have a coupon from Revlon, $2 off any Revlon item. So I paid $0.50 cents a piece for these polishes. Love it. Can't beat it with a stick. Um, the other polish that I've worn a lot in the month of July is May. May is... Um, this polish makes me happy. So that's, again, I go back to the happy. I, You know, the month was so long and so dreadful that I really was looking for things to make me happy, along with making my family happy as well. But July's over. It's onward, upward, better, happier times for everybody, I hope. And I know a lot of people have suffered a lot of losses this month and Lana, Lana, Indiana is in my heart and my prayers every day. I think the world of her and I know she's going through a really hard time. So we all need to keep her in our hearts. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you have a great day. I hope that the rest of your summer goes just exactly how you want it to. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.